Listening section 1. Extra practice. In a moment you are going to hear a conversation between two people about part-time educational courses at HKU Space, a centre providing professional and continuing education. Before you listen, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 10. As you listen to the conversation, answer questions 1 to 10. Hello, this is HKU Space, Adrian speaking. How can I help you? Good afternoon. I've recently retired. I'm interested in taking up a course to develop my hobby. I noticed on your website you have a course on sketching Hong Kong architecture. That's right, we do. We offer several courses which may be of interest to you. If it is design you're interested in, we also have another course called the Certificate in Foundation Art and Design. Or if you're more interested in the architecture side, we have a course called Technical Drawings for Architecture. Actually, where are you based? I live in Taiku Xing. That's quite convenient, as all three of these courses are based at our Island East campus, which is in North Point. So it should be very easy for you to get to class. I see. And how much is the Sketching Hong Kong Architecture course? That one is $3,800. Okay, well, it might be worth it. Are you interested in the other two courses? That depends. How much are they? Well, the Technical Drawings for Architecture course is a short course, the same as the Sketching Hong Kong Architecture course, and the fee is the same for both. The Certificate in Foundation Art and Design, however, is a longer course and it gives you a qualification at the end. This does mean it's more expensive though, and the course fee will probably be approximately $17,700, depending on the courses you choose to take. I see. I think that is far too expensive for my needs. I'm only interested as a hobby, so I don't think I really need the certificate. Well, we have many other students who are in a similar situation to you. They've gained a lot from this course. It teaches basics in a variety of artistic techniques, such as watercolor painting, sketching, photography, and others. Okay, I still don't think it's appropriate for my needs. That's fine. Are you interested in the other two courses? Yes, they both sound quite good, but I need more information to make up my mind. I can send you the information packs for both courses if you like. You can read through the details for both courses and compare them. That would be great. Thank you. Can I take your name? Yes, it's Mackenzie Tong. I'm sorry, is that M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-Y? No, M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E. Mackenzie Tong. And your address, please? 39 Ho Gao Street, Tai Ku Xing. And have you got an email address? If so, I can add you to our mailing list and we will send you updates about new courses which you may be interested in. Yes, it's mackenzie underscore tong at hkmail.com. Great. I'll make sure we send you the information brochures as soon as possible. If you have any more questions, please do give us a call. Thanks. You've been very helpful. My pleasure. Goodbye. That is the end of this listening. In the real listening test, you would now have half a minute to check your answers. List, and we will send you updates about new courses which you may be interested in. Yes, it's mackenzie underscore tong at hkmail.com. Great. I'll make sure we send you the information brochures as soon as possible. If you have any more questions, please do give us a call. Thanks. You've been very helpful. My pleasure. Goodbye. That is the end of this listening. In the real listening test, you would now have half a minute to check your answers. Test. You would now have half a minute to check your answers. answers. Listening section 2. Extra practice. In a moment, you are going to hear an interview with Mr. Adrian Lee. Mr. Lee is going to talk about a summer program for students at a Canadian university. Before you listen, look at questions 1 to 10. As you listen to the interview, answer questions 1 to 10. I'm going to interview Adrian Lee today, who's a lecturer in the English department at Kowloon University. 
He's also a Canadian citizen and a member of the university committee running the English Award Scheme. So today, Adrian's going to talk about the summer program, which is open to holders of this award in Canada, and how to get onto the program. Yes, for the last two years, a group of ten Kowloon University students have got on an aeroplane together, and gone to the city of Toronto, Sheffield University. The university calls its program the Summer English School. It's four full weeks, and Monday to Friday, they will have classroom activities in the morning for fluency. Afternoon will be group activities, a lot of new things. They might be making a newspaper. They might be working on handicrafts. Things that involve speaking and using English, but not necessarily academic study of English. Sounds interesting. Are there any social events? Sure. In the evenings, there are all kinds of activities. They may go downtown Toronto. They will have parties, lively activities, and every weekend there are field trips. They will be taken out to see Niagara Falls, visit the CN Tower in the heart of Toronto, go up to Canada's capital, Ottawa. I believe there are a variety of choices there. What a lot of fun! What kind of students do you get on the program? This is an international program. In fact, the university did not want to have too many Hong Kong students there, as they try to keep a mix. They have students in the program from several different European countries. Mexico, Central South America, and some French Canadians. All participants would be, would not be, native speakers of English, but some of them are Canadian. So the non-native speakers would be French Canadians. That's right. So the aim is to improve students' English skills and also for them to meet students from other countries and have a good time. That's right. For students who come back from the program to Hong Kong. That's been one of the highlights. Some of the friendships they've started up, and they keep in touch with them through Facebook and WhatsApp with these friends after they get back to Hong Kong. That's great. So, can you tell our listeners a bit more about Toronto? Well, Toronto is the largest city in Canada. It's on Lake Ontario. It's quite a beautiful city. It has quite a bit of history. In the downtown, in the center of the city, different areas reflect the different nationalities who have immigrated into Canada at various times: Greek sections, Italian sections, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese. Really, you can get foods and culture groups from many different areas of the world. Would you say Canada is an international kind of country? Then, sure, Canada is very cosmopolitan. Especially the large cities like Toronto and Vancouver, you can find people from every part of the world. Great! So I've heard that there is some kind of funding. You've heard right. The dean of our faculty, Henry Lam, has put aside three hundred thousand Hong Kong dollars, which basically gets divided into ten. And what do students need to do to have a chance to get this funding? Well, in March or April, the students will usually put together some kind of portfolio. An online space which shows all the varieties of activities that they've done, what their original objectives were, why they chose these activities, and then some kind of assessment as to which activities were useful, which ones weren't. And there's no problem if students feel an activity they begin doing isn't a valuable one. All we want to hear from them is the kind of analysis of what did you do that worked and what didn't work. So, are the objectives that students choose in September or October important? Well, it's not necessary to choose objectives at the beginning that are going to be successful, but that you learn as you go along what works and what doesn't work for you. You know, a lot of students want to work on their oral English. There are a lot of different approaches. It encourages students to join in different programs. What kind of programs do you mean? Like we have a lot of different programs here at Cowden University. There's the Film Society. There's the the English Club, the English Corner. Lots of things in the Independent Learning Centre. Okay. So how are students chosen? The students will submit a portfolio, and the committee will look through that portfolio. And generally, fifteen to twenty students will be invited to the interview. After the interview, the top ten could be given. Thirty thousand Hong Kong dollars, 
about half the cost of going to Canada for the summer. That's really interesting. Thanks so much for telling us this. That is the end of this listening. In the real listening test, you would now have half a minute to check your answers. Go along. What works and what doesn't work for you? You know, a lot of students want to work on their oral English. There are a lot of different approaches. It encourages students to join in different programs. What kind of programs do you mean? Like we have a lot of different programs here at Cowden University. There's the Film Society. There's the the English Club, the English Corner. Lots of things in the Independent Learning Centre. Okay. So how are students chosen? The students will submit a portfolio, and the committee will look through that portfolio. And generally, fifteen to twenty students will be invited to the interview. After the interview, the top ten could be given thirty thousand Hong Kong dollars, about half the cost of going to Canada for the summer. That's really interesting. Thanks so much for telling us this. That is the end of this listening. In the real listening test, you would now have half a minute to check your answers for the summer. That's really interesting. Thanks so much for telling us this. That is the end of this listening. In the real listening test, you would now have half a minute to check your answers. Check your answers.